six lovely ladies will become Miss America 1978. Have you picked the winner? Here it is, the winner of a $20,000 scholarship, our new Miss America, Susan Perkins, Miss Ohio! me last year and I'll never forget it. It was like a dream. Now it's time for someone else's dream to come true. It's time for someone else to become Miss America. I wonder who. Good evening. Welcome to the City of Dreams. I'm Bert Parks. This is Atlantic City. Where for more than half a century dreams have been coming true for a lot of young women. For a quarter of that century, we've been showing you those dreams come true. So welcome to our 25th live telecast, television silver anniversary of the Miss America pageant. And let me show you what 50 dreams look like. From Convention Hall in Atlantic City, it's the 1978 Silver Anniversary Miss America pageant. Our 25th year on television with co-hosts Bert Parks, Phyllis George, and television first Miss America, Lee Merriweather. Reading Miss America of 1978, Susan Perkins. And starring the 50 Miss America state representatives from all over the United States. Miss America pageant is brought to you by Gillette, makers of Ultramax shampoo. The new shampoo designed to work with your blow dryer for manageability and beautiful body. And by Campbell Soup Company. All of Campbell's soups are mmm-mmm good. And by Kellogg's. Kellogg's in the morning is a very smart start for the day. The 1978 Silver Anniversary Miss America pageant. Our 25th live telecast with Scott Hayden. Former Miss America, Dorothy Benham. The Miss America Dancers. Glenn Osser and the Miss America Orchestra. Special guest star, John McCook. Co-host, Phyllis George and Lee Merriweather. Just being here, we feel so good inside. We're the reason and the rhyme, and we're gonna do it, do it, do it, one more time. It's reassuring to know that we're part of an ongoing show, and our ambition is to help the tradition to grow. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss America pageant takes pride in presenting for the 24th time your master of ceremonies, Mr. Bert Hart. And then we'll break out the band. And we're gonna do it, do it, do it, keep on doing it. We're gonna do it, do it, do it, keep on doing it. One, two, You know, it's not only another big night for our beautiful Miss America hopefuls. It is the 25th anniversary of Miss America's first live telecast. And I can't tell you how that thrills me. And here's someone who never ceases to get just as excited about the Miss America pageant as I do. Miss America's first television winner, Miss Lee Merriweather. And here she is. You're really right, Bert, about my being excited. Yes, and now here's another former Miss America who's since returned many times as a featured performer, and then as my co-host, Miss Phyllis George, right here. the same brand. Every <laughs> oh, Bert, I have enjoyed every minute of it. It's great being here again. Yes, <laughs> but Lee, you know, being the first Miss America crowned on television, must have been a very special film for you. Oh, uh, it was. Yeah. I cried all night. I bet you did. <laughs> but, but you know, I had a first on television, too, and I think we have a film clip to prove it. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Everybody can see it here. All right, here's a film clip. Okay. okay. I, I was the first Miss America on live television to drop her crown. <laughs> I was so embarrassed that night, I can't tell you. There it is. <laughs> well, wow. That's it. Poor you know. Kid. Well, I had a first two, but it was so long ago, I can't remember. <laughs> Girls, I'll see you later. Thank you very much we'll and goodbye. And now, my friends, it's time for another first. It is time to meet, for the first time, the stars of the Miss America pageant, the 50 lovely state representatives. And here they are, starting with, let's give them a hand, Miss Alabama, everybody. I am Teresa Cheatham and my pageant is held in Birmingham. Miss Alaska. I'm Patty Jo Gentry, and our pageant was in Anchorage. Miss Arizona. I'm Susan Kohler, and our state pageant is held in Scottsdale. Miss Arkansas. I'm Maylene Burns, and my pageant was held in Hot Springs. Miss California. and my state pageant is held in Santa Cruz. Miss Colorado. I'm Catherine Brown and our state pageant was held in Sterling. Miss Connecticut. I'm Mary Alice Litroy and our state pageant is held in New Britain. Miss Delaware. I'm Janice Ann Albro and my state pageant was held at Rehoboth Beach. Miss Florida. I'm Carolyn Klein, and my state pageant is held in Orlando. Miss Georgia. I'm Deborah Mosley, and the state pageant is held in Columbus. Miss Hawaii. My name is Elizabeth Lindsay, and my state pageant is held in Honolulu. Miss Idaho. I'm Kimberly Ann Jensen, my state pageant's in Boise. Miss Illinois. I'm Debbie Carlson, and our state pageant is held in Aurora. Miss Indiana. I'm Terry Kaiser, and my pageant was held in Michigan City. Miss Iowa. I'm Mary Elizabeth England, and my pageant's held in Davenport. Miss Kansas. 
I'm Lori Ann Bergen, and my pageant is held in Pratt. Miss Kentucky. I'm Marsha Malone Bell, and my pageant is held in Louisville. Miss Louisiana. Hi, I'm Phyllis Kelly, and our state pageant is held in Monroe. Miss Maine. Linda Carroll and our state pageant was held in Bangor. Miss Maryland. Hi, I'm Caroline Donnelly and our state pageant is held in Hagerstown. Miss Massachusetts. I am Rowena Humphrey and my state pageant is held in New Bedford. Miss Michigan. I'm Suzanne Shem and our pageant is held in Muskegon. Miss Minnesota. I'm Susan Erickson, and our state pageant is held in Austin. Miss Mississippi. I'm Sherry Brown, and my state pageant was held in Vicksburg. Miss Missouri. I'm Tamara Fister, our state pageant is held in Mexico. Miss Montana. I'm Vanessa Oshner, and my state pageant was held in Billings. Miss Nebraska. My name is Garland Remigy, and our state pageant was held in Grand Island. Miss Nevada. I'm Megan Anderson, and our state pageant was held in Reno. Miss New Hampshire. I'm Belinda Bridgman. My state pageant was held in Manchester. Miss New Jersey. I'm Laurie Birch and my state pageant was held in Cherry Hill. Miss New Mexico. I'm Jenny Schubert, and our state pageant's held in Hobbs. Miss New York. I'm Paula Ann Pope, and my state pageant was held in Buffalo. Miss North Carolina. I'm Debbie Shook, and our state pageant is held in Winston-Salem. Miss North Dakota. I'm Sheila Lindemann. My pageant was held in Bismarck. Miss Ohio. I'm Sherilyn F. Patrick, and our state pageant is held in Mansfield. Miss Oklahoma. I'm Kendi Brown, and our state pageant is held in Tulsa. Miss Oregon. I'm Amy Kathleen White, and my pageant is held in Seaside. Miss Pennsylvania. I am Charmaine Kowalski. My state pageant is held in Altoona. Miss Rhode Island. My name is Laura Layton, and our state pageant was held in Warwick. Miss South Carolina. I'm Diane Toole, and my state pageant is held in Greenville. Miss South Dakota. I'm Jennifer Holt, and our state pageant is held in Hot Springs. Miss Tennessee. I'm Jill Bashirs, and our state pageant is held in Jackson. Miss Texas. I'm Sandy Miller, and our state pageant is held in Fort Worth. Miss Utah. I'm Jamie Coombs, and our state pageant is held in Orem. Miss Vermont. I'm Lisa Volker, and my state pageant is held in Middlebury. Miss Virginia. I'm Carleen Barker, and my state pageant is held in Roanoke. Miss Washington. I'm Laura Nelson, and our state pageant is held in Vancouver. Miss West Virginia. I'm Ivy Dean Maddow. My state pageant was held in Clarksburg. Miss Wisconsin. I'm Karen Kiswick, and our pageant is held in Oshkosh. Miss Wyoming. I'm Kim Pring. Our state pageant is held in Cheyenne. Now, you people all over the United States, if you want to hear a real Atlantic City welcome, here it comes. with their
their gorgeous hair are beautiful enough to be models. Hear what models are saying about new Ultramag shampoo. We asked these models whose hair has to look good to try new Ultramax, the blow dryer shampoo. It leaves my hair better for blow drying. These models like the Ultramax difference. My hair feels clean and easier to style. These models like the Ultramax difference. I don't know what's in it, but it actually makes my hair easier to manage. These models whose hair has to look good like the Ultramax difference. Ultramax shampoo, you'll like the difference. In the heart of every kernel of corn is a Kellogg's corn flake waiting to be born. In the heart of the corn, if you have any doubts. Did I ever have these before? I don't think so, dear. Makes the corn flakes lover and you come out. Taste the heart of the corn, a great part of the corn. If I did have these before, I liked them. Get the heart of the corn from Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You know, an important part of our reigning queen's triumphal year is to join our USO troop along with six other state representatives entertaining servicemen and women away from home. The USO and the Department of Defense have sponsored 15 troops since 1967, and 103 of our talented young women have traveled overseas performing for our men and women in uniform. Now, right here at home, the television cameras have recorded the big moment for all our Miss America since Lee Merriweather. And last year, our huge television audience sat at the edge of their seats, waiting for another young lady to learn that the crown was hers. And you can't blame them for agreeing with the judge's choice. Our own Miss America, 1978, Susan Perkins, right there. closer our state representatives get to Miss America's throne, the busier they get. Since Wednesday, they've been participating in evening gown, swimsuit, and talent competitions, as well as meeting with the judges individually to be considered for such things as personality and intelligence, and believe it's not easy for the girls or for the judges. Each contestant is scored separately by each judge, and finally, after three intensive days and nights. The tabulation reveals our 10 finalists. The 50 state representatives are eagerly awaiting for the official word telling them who has made the top 10. So let's all relieve that anxiety. Ours too, right now. So here are our 10 finalists for the title, Miss America. Here they are. Lori Nelson, Miss Washington. Lori Ann Bergen, Miss Kansas. Marsha Malone Bell, Miss Kentucky. Miss 
Virginia. Dylan Reminger, Miss Nebraska. Miss Ohio! Carolyn Klein, Miss Florida! <laughs> Teresa Cheatham, Miss Alabama! Phyllis Kelly, Miss Louisiana. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the top ten. One of these lovely young ladies is going to be Miss America, 1979. Aren't they lovely? Thank you. <laughs> to help us, to help us commemorate our silver anniversary on television, we've reached into the world of TV. We plucked one of the stars from its heavens, and now it's my pleasure to introduce our special guest, the man you all know as Lance Prentice of Daytime's Young and Restless, John McCook. John? Thank you, Bert. It's my pleasure to be here. Well, now that we know who the 10 finalists are, it ought to be pretty simple to uh, pick a winner, right? No, wrong. Absolutely wrong, because being a judge, believe me, John, it's got to be one of the toughest jobs in the whole world. Now, how would you like, for instance, to have to choose one person from that beautiful group of finalists? No, thanks, and I'm getting out of here before somebody suggests I try. I'll okay. see you later. See you, John. You know, our judges tonight who have accepted that toughest job in the world are, here we go, the Commissioner of Public Events, Chief of Protocol for New York City, Neil J. Walsh. Neil, there he is. Nice hand for Neil. Fashion coordinator and commentator, past pageant judge, Mary Longley. <laughs> Star of stage, concert, and television, with 10 gold records to his credit, Jerry Vale. <laughs> President of Newberry College, Newberry, South Carolina, Author and educator, Dr. Glenn E. Whiteside. We welcome back author and star of stage, screen, and television, Arlene Dahl. General manager of the famous Fred Waring's Pennsylvanians, Ray Sack Schroeder. Former Vice President of Columbia Pictures, now an independent television producer, Rene Valente. <laughs> Award-winning television personality, co-host of NBC's America Alive, Janet Langhart. <laughs> the Miss America judges, ladies and gentlemen, and I haven't They've done a marvelous job all week long. We certainly agree they do. Thank you all for coming. Uh, my friends, these judges are selected with as much care as we expect them to exercise in selecting Miss America herself. So with a little help from Lee and Phyllis, we'll try to give you some insights into how the judging process works. Oh, well, as you said before, Bert, it is an extremely difficult job. I know I've been a judge twice here. Oh, I don't envy them tonight. Our judges now must consider the finalists as brand new. 
That's right, Lee. And except in the event of a tie, none of the scores from the preliminary competition count. All the points are now scored on the basis of what happens tonight. Now, they also are awarded, the girls are awarded one-third each for talent, one-third for swimsuit, and of course, one-third for evening gown. These points will be used to determine the five top-scoring state representatives, who will then be ranked by the judges to select the new queen and her court of honor. And now, watch and find out why people take sides over mini-wheats. Why do Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so great? People take sides. Nicely sweet. Crunchy wheat. Nicely sweet. Crunchy wheat. Nicely sweet. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Oh, wheat goodness on one side. Like frosting on the other. That's what makes the crunchy wheat nicely sweet. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat cereal is part of a good breakfast. Delicious. But people still take sides. Crunchy wheat. Nicely sweet. Cru Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. How do you handle a hungry man? The manhandlers. He's working up an appetite a manhandler can handle. Looks like my boy's grown up. He's ready for Campbell's manhandlers, like beef soup, juicy beef, and sun-ripened vegetables. A big tasting soup, a man-sized part of a man's meal. The manhandlers. The manhandlers. Mmm, good. What an era. Girls wore their hair in poodle cuts, and the boys wore theirs in ducktails. The beat that was going on in the 50s was the beginning of rock and roll. Some said it would never last, and Broadway fought back with its loveliest shoe tunes, but the beat went on. Oh, the ward threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there, and they began to wail. The band was jumping, and the joint began to swing. You should have heard those knocked out jailbirds sing that rock. My troubles down a bad roof. You know that gypsy with the broken tooth. She's got a pad down a 34th and five. She gave me a bottle of love potion number nine. Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. Love never made a fool of you. Listen to me. I talk to the 
about a new roll-on antiperspirant. Do you know that all leading roll-ons are mostly water? About two-thirds water. That's why they're wet and sticky and may make you wait to get dressed. But now there's Dry ID antiperspirant, the new roll-on that isn't wet or sticky because it contains almost no water. It goes on dry, so you can get dressed right away and nothing will keep you drier than Dry Idea. New dry idea. It doesn't make you wet, so it doesn't make you wait. Ballpoint pens are such a drag, a tiresome affair. Never fear, Quicksilver's here. Score another point for Flair. Introducing new Quicksilver Flair. It's got a smoother ball than ordinary ballpoints and famous Flair ink. So writing flows smoothly and looks brilliant. Now you've got Quicksilver. Ballpoint can't compare. It's smooth and quick. The whole new kit. Score another point for Flair. Quicksilver Flair. Ballpoints can't compare. The 50s was an era that our state representatives can barely remember. But now, for a moment, they'll remember always. Let's meet our ten finalists in evening gown competition. Please welcome Laurie Nelson, Miss Washington. Good evening. I am 19 years old and live with my family in the quaint fishing village of Gig Harbor, Washington. After receiving my bachelor's degree from Central Washington University, I intend to continue graduate studies in voice, leading to a career in music. Thank you. and political science at Kansas State University. I find politics fascinating, and after I complete my degree, I intend to enter law school in preparation for a career in government and politics. Marsha Malone Bell, Miss Kentucky. Hi, I'm going into my fourth year of study in speech and hearing education at the University of Kentucky, located in my hometown of Lexington, and it is also the home of the nation's number one college basketball team. Miss Virginia. Coming from a small town in the scenic mountains of Virginia, I have recently graduated from Virginia Tech University. My major was fashion merchandising, and now, at 22, I have undertaken the challenge of opening my own ladies' apparel shop.
Gailin Remenga, Miss Nebraska. Good evening. I'm 21 years old and a senior at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. I'm now completing a triple major in journalism production and consumer affairs. In the field of communication as a service to people is one of my goals for the future. continue my career as an entertainer and a composer. <laughs> Teresa Cheatham, Miss Alabama. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a 20-year-old senior at Jacksonville State University where I'm studying music and drama. I enjoy entertaining tremendously and plan to become a professional performer. Remember, a one-ounce serving of Kellogg's Product 19 cereal has a whole day's allowance of 10 essential vitamins and iron. Delicious. Your vitamins. <laughs> now she tells me. Vitamins that taste too good to forget. Product 19. A very smart start. 
Now that you've had a drink, oh, what a time to think. Wow, I could have had a V8. With just one sip to go, that's the wrong time to know. Wow, I could have had a V8. V8 cocktail vegetable juice is a great tasting, healthful blend that's naturally low in calories, only 35 a six ounce serving. But remember, the time to think of having a V8 is before you've had something else. Wow, I could have had a V8. The 60s would begin with jet airliners. Before they were over, we'd see men walking on the moon. Skirts got shorter, the boys' hair got longer, and both hairstyles and music were influenced by a group of four young mavericks from Liverpool, the Beatles. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah. You think you've lost your love Well, I saw her yesterday It's you she's thinking of And she told me what to say She says she loves you And you know that can't be bad Yes, she loves you And you know you should be glad She loves you, yeah That go together well, my Michel, Michel, sont les mots qui vont très bien ensemble, très bien ensemble. I love you, I love you, I love you. That's all I want to say. Until I find a way, I will say the only words I know that you understand. Michel, my friend, sont les mots qui vont très bien ensemble, très bien ensemble. I will say the only words I know that you'll understand, my Michel. When I get older, losing my hand, many years from now, will you still be sending me a valentine? Birthday greetings, bottom of wine. If I've been out till quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still be me? When I'm 64, I'll live. Will you still need me? Will you still be me? When I'm 64. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Oh, I get high with a little help from my friends. Yes, I'll get by with a little help from my little help from my friends. Thank you very much. And now, you know, it's always a treat to bring you the talent competition. Whatever their performance, our top ten are always a joy to behold. So just watch and you'll see what I mean. In 1956, Billy Bonds composed the hit song, Have I Stayed Too Long at the Fair? 
with her own arrangement, is Lori Nelson. Let's bring on Miss Washington right here. Stay too long at the fair. I wanted the clown to be constantly clever. If I stay too long at the fair, I bought me blue ribbons to tie up my hair. But I couldn't find anybody to care. Stay too long at the fair. The music has stopped, and the children must go now. Have I stayed too long at the fair? Oh, mother dear, I know you're very proud. Your little girl. So far above the crowd No, Daddy dear You never could have known That I would be successful Yet so very much alone I wanted to live in a carnival city With laughter and love everywhere I wanted my friends to be thrilling and witty I wanted somebody to care. I found me the ribbons are shining, but now I discover them no longer new. The merry-go-round is beginning to taunt me. Have I stayed too long? And there's no one to want me. Have I stayed too long at the That was Lori Nelson, and that was Miss Washington, as you can see on your screen. Our next performer has chosen a medley of Shadas and the Orange Blossom Special to display her expertise on the violin. Lori Ann Bergen, Miss Kansas, right here. Thank you. 
example. I was a three soup wife. Campbell's tomato, chicken noodle, and vegetable. The only soups I thought my family would like. We didn't have any complaints. True, but then we discovered Campbell's minestrone, beef noodle. Chicken gumbo. Lots of different soups I never dreamed my whole family would like. Today I've got it all. A lovely house, wonderful kids, and a 12-soup wife. Who's serving more soup than ever. Campbell's, the 50-soup soup. Mmm, mmm, good. How does a mother of three watch her weight and nutrition? I start my day with the Kellogg's Special K breakfast. Good for you. Coffee, juice. Good for you. High-protein Special K cereal. Good for you. A teaspoon of sugar and four ounces of skim milk. Good for you. It's serious nutrition for weight-conscious adults with protein, vitamins, and iron for less than 240 calories. Mmm, and delicious. Good for you, Special K. Good for me. We're back, and now here's a popular song that I can sing to all 50 lovely state representatives. Instead, we'll listen to I Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. It's done by Marsha Malone Bell, Miss Kentucky, right there. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch Oh, I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Rocky and Chuck Mangione is Feel So Good inspire this acrobatic dance by Kyleen Bakker, Miss Virginia.
this is the year of silk. Soft, silky gowns and soft, silky curls to go with them from Tony Silkway. Curls are back, oh. and Tony's got them, and you can get them any way you want them. Tony Silkwave is here with a wave for any look you want. Boop de boop curls. Really loose curls. Or all body in one big curve. Tony Silkwave is here with total conditioning right down to the ends. Be soft, swing and swirl. Curls are back and Tony's got them. Silkwave means silk curls. Oh. Nervous is wearing your roommate's new designer dress and getting a new design on it. Nervous is why you need soft and dry. Soft and dry really helps keep you dry when you're nervous. Nervous is your first day teaching. The class no one else wants. Nervous is why you need soft and dry. Spray or roll on helps keep you dry yet never stings most girls even after shaving. I do. I woo. I do. Nervous is why you need soft and dry. The Miss America pageant will continue after station identification. The explosive medical drama where everyone's on the critical list. The troubled hospital director. I need something else in my life. The attorney who does her best work out of court. I hope you don't mind aggressive women. The embittered surgeon. The vengeful lawyer. Starring Lloyd Bridges, Robert Wagner, Buddy Ebsen, Barbara Parkins, Lou Gossett. Critical list, Monday at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Welcome back, everyone, for the second half of the 1978 Miss America pageant. Now let's find out about our next talented performer. Thank you. Now listen to our next performer's own arrangement of Toriella's Toccata and Grieg's Noturno, as performed by Gailen Remenga, Miss Nebraska. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse me. The proper pronunciation for this beautiful lady's name is Gylan Reminger. Sorry. Now, our next talent presentation this evening is a modern interpretation of traditional Middle Eastern dancing. Cher Lynette Patrick Miss Ohio. Oh. soup like mom used to make? Take a look at Campbell's Chunky Soup. Show me a soup as beefy as my mom made and I'll eat it. Okay, chunky beef. But mom's had chunks of beef. Chunky has chunks of beef. Mom's had chunks of potatoes and vegetables too. Chunky has chunks of potatoes and vegetables too. Mmm. Beefy enough for you? I'll eat it. Mmm, Campbell's Chunky Beef. So chunky, you'll be tempted to eat it with a fork. But use a spoon to get every drop. I won't. You will. Won't. Don't like Pran cereal. But this is Kellogg's Cracklin' brand. It's delicious. Mm -mm. Try one. Mm -mm. It's good, Daddy. <laughs> okay, one. Oh, let's get the milk. Kellogg's Cracklin' Brand Cereal. High fiber, great taste. If you never liked brand, you like it. I like it. If you like brand, you'll love it. I love it. Kellogg's Cracklin' Brand. A voice, a piano, and a theme from a touching tale of romance. Welcome with her own arrangement of love story, Carolyn Klein, Miss Florida. begin to 
tell the story of how great a love can be. The sweet love story that is all in the sea. The simple truth about the love he brings to me. And this is my beloved from Kismet. Tells the story of a young woman's feeling for her lover. Tonight, let's imagine that young lady is Teresa Cheatham, who is Miss Alabama. I know. Oh, it's 
here the little girl enjoys breakfast with Rice Krispies. Boy, sure I'm glad I got you guys to keep me company. You're not afraid of a little thunder, are you, Annie? Well... Hey, hey, it's just a little noise. Why, we make our own noise for Kellogg's Rice Krispies cereal. That's what being a fun part of your good breakfast is all about. Okay, here goes the milk. It's fun to put Snap Crackle into your morning. Not afraid of a little thunder, are you, Pop? Yeah, what? Ooh, whatever gave you that idea. When our kids were young, the only Campbell's soups I served were tomato, chicken noodle, and vegetable. But they've grown up now. And we've discovered soups like old-fashioned tomato rice, cream of chicken. And split beef with ham and bacon. Young people, so afraid to try something new. From a three-soup family, we've become a 14-soup couple. And eating more soup than ever. Campbell's, the 50-soup soup. Mmm-mmm, soup. good. With selections from The Nocturne for the Left Hand by Alexander Scribane, Camille Sasson's second concerto in G minor, opus 22, and Gershwin's An American in Paris. Here is Sandy Miller, Miss Texas. Victor Herbert was indeed one of America's greatest composers. Now let's listen to his Italian street song. It's performed by Phyllis Kelly, Miss Louisiana.
Have you noticed these ladies have one thing in common? Beautiful hair. Here's more about beautiful hair from new Ultramax Shampoo. We asked these models, whose hair has to look good, to try new Ultramax, the blow dryer shampoo. It leaves my hair better for blow drying. These models like the Ultramax difference. My hair feels clean and easier to style. These models like the Ultramax difference. I don't know what's in it, but it actually makes my hair easier to manage. These models, whose hair has to look good, like the Ultramax difference. Ultramax shampoo, you'll like the difference. When my daughter, Kyle, decided to be an actress, with Lee Merriweather as a mother, did I have a choice? I told her, keep that natural look. Natural makeup, natural looking hair. That's why we use Adorn Hairspray. Naturally. Adorn's special formula keeps today's styles looking and feeling natural, yet it holds beautifully. I like Adorn Aerosol. I prefer the Adorn Pump. She's so independent. Keep that natural look with Adorn. The 70s began for Phyllis George with her ascension to the throne of Miss America. And on the music scene, the rock and roll sound was still around, but it was undergoing a subtle change. The disco beat was ramming on, taking hold, letting loose. Well, come on, Philly, show them, honey, show them.
Well, the uh, third and final portion of our Miss America competition is swimsuit. But remember, an important part of the total scoring is the points awarded for the personal interview. So we'd like to give you, the TV audience, an opportunity to see and hear excerpts from each of those interviews. As each finalist is presented in swimsuit, we'll show you a bit of her interview. And our 10 finalists in swimsuit are Lori Nelson, Miss Washington. Nebraska. Regret, ladies and gentlemen, that we were unable to get the tape we promised you of the interviews, but our parade of swimsuit continues. Next, we have Miss Florida, Carolyn Klein. Loss of tape, my friends, does in no way affect the judging in any way. And now here's Teresa Cheatham, Miss Alabama. Texas. Phyllis 
Kelly, Miss Louisiana. You may enjoy Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Your child might like Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. They differ. So Kellogg's makes a variety of fortified cereals. But no matter which of these you choose as part of a complete breakfast, you get the important nutrition of eight essential vitamins and iron. A smart start. Some prefer nutrition with raisins. Some prefer it with a tiger. Kellogg's in the morning is a very smart, very smart start. When it comes to cream rinses, I think clean is the name of the game. Clean is the feeling of bright, shiny hair. Clean is the name of the game. Clean is the natural way hair should be. Clean is the feeling with tame. I want a cream rinse that doesn't undo my shampoo. So I use this, tame cream rinse and conditioner. Because it works without oils, tame rinse is clean. And clean hair is beautiful hair. Clean is the feeling with tame. While the lights are shining and the microphone is on, we played for you. How great has been our pleasure, but how short has seen the time we've stayed with you. But we played for you. Yes, we played for you. From the start until the end, every song has told you we are friends. We love to play.
It seems our friendly busy movers just can't stop thinking about Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Well, Stan and Ted are movers, and part of their good breakfast plan is two scoops of raisins in a package of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. They're moving a piano, but Stan thinks it's anything but grand. He's thinking about his two scoops of raisins and those golden flakes of bran. Well, it's keep ho, keep ho. Where you going, Stan? Back for two scoops of raisins. In a package of Kellogg's Raisin Aww. Bran. I feel most beautiful when my hair is naturally clean. That's why I got back to Earthborn Shampoo for naturally clean hair. These pH test strips prove that these three popular shampoos can leave alkaline residue on your hair. Now look at Earthborn. No alkaline residue, no change. Just super naturally clean hair. So give back to Earthborn for naturally clean hair. You know, each year we ask our judges to select those performers of exceptional talent who are not finalists. This year, there are eight talented, non-finalist award winners, each of whom will receive, if I get the list soon, will receive recognition in the form of a $2,000 scholarship award. I want you to welcome them with a big hand. They deserve it. Thank you. Let me call their names and acknowledge them, each one. Christine Acton, Miss California. <laughs> Gary Alice Flitroy, Miss Connecticut. <laughs> Kimberly Ann Jetson, Miss Idaho. <laughs> Deborah Carlson, Miss Illinois. <laughs> Megan Anderson, Miss Nevada. <laughs> Debbie Shook, Miss North Carolina. <laughs> Diane Toole, Miss South Carolina. <laughs> and Kim Bring, Miss Wyoming. Phyllis and Lee, please join me and to tell the truth, which I know you always do. Of course, of course. Both of you, when you see another charming young woman, beautiful, such as yourselves, crowned Miss America, don't you wish it was you all over again? Well, I think so. <laughs> I mean, I, but you know, Bert, I had this awful recurring dream in which they let me enter the pageant again, which is fantastic, but... The swimsuit and the top, I don't even make the top ten. It's just a terrible dream. You know, that's really something, Phyllis. I have a recurring dream myself. What's that? <sighs> well, I enter the pageant. Everything goes fine. I win. Uh-huh. Yeah. They put the crown, and it's just like, you know, with the banner flowing down and everything, <laughs> and I fall off the runway. Oh, oh no, my God. I do. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, it's I terrible. want to tell you something. That was what I said earlier about this being a place where dreams come true. Is that possible? No, no, no. no, no, no not no. our dreams. Please. Please. No. Don't want to go through that. Thanks again. a lot, but no, no, no I'll let you take over. We'll be back. But here. some dreams should do and do come true. And now it's time for that happy, sad moment, friends, when we say farewell to the one person who made the long, hard climb all the way to the top to become Miss America 1978. Ladies and gentlemen, in the final moments of her reign, Miss America 1978, Susan Perkins. You wouldn't be listening to me now had I not participated in the Miss America program. In addition to affording young women a platform from which to speak, 
The pageant offers scholarships, extensive travel, and career opportunities. Even though it had its pitfalls, as does any job, serving as Miss America has been the best job I've ever had. I feel very fortunate to have been selected as 1978's representative and hope that those individuals involved in the pageant program are satisfied that I have recognized every opportunity made available to me through their efforts. Finally, and most important, I have the pageant to thank for many wonderful friendships. God bless you all. how Campbell helps you handle a hungry man with the manhandlers. How do you handle a hungry man? The manhandlers. He's working up an appetite a manhandler can handle. Looks like my boy's grown up. He's ready for Campbell's manhandlers, like split pea with ham and bacon, tender ham, smokehouse bacon in a thick puree, a man-sized part of a man's meal. The manhandlers. The manhandlers. Mmm, mmm, good. It must be wonderful being a Hollywood star, Mr. Tiger. Oh, it's not all sitting at poolside. I worked very hard on the set with Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes. I love Frosted Flakes. All my fans love the delicious taste of my frosting. And, of course, the way I say... <laughs> oh, say it, Tony! They're great! Telephone, Mr. Tiger. Oh, probably my agent or director. Hello. Oh, yes, dear. On my way home? Oh, certainly, dear. A <laughs> quart of milk, a frosted plate. Or... <laughs> well, John, the competitors have competed. The judges have judged. The votes are in. And they're being counted. Now, you know, this is a very important part of the Miss America pageant. Of course it is, Bert. And I've been doing a little, uh, well, unofficial judging myself. But yes. I keep coming up with a ten-way tie. I'm afraid that's about nine too many. Yeah. Well, who's it going to be? Now, I don't know who's more anxious about this, the ten finalists or uh, the new kid on the block, me. Talk about young and restless. Uh, that's it for sure. But hang on, John. It won't be much longer now. But it's a good question. Why don't we put it to our four resident Miss America experts, Susan, Dorothy, Phyllis, and Lee. Who will the new Miss America be? We'll see. So many times, still I get the shakes. Who can choose? How can they lose? They all got what it takes.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, the ballots are in, and another Miss America is waiting in the wings to find out, along with all of us, who she is. Have you picked her? Well, let's take one final look at the ten contenders for the crown, to be sure. Okay, first, Miss Washington. Laurie Nelson. Laurie's father sank right here in Convention Hall when he was 19, and now Laurie has realized her dream of doing the same. Miss Kansas. Laurie Ann Bergen. An honor student at Kansas State University, Laurie Ann plans to study law and then enter the political arena. Miss Kentucky. Marsha Malone Bell. Although quite talented musically, Marsha is also extremely athletic and holds a number of records in track and field. Miss Virginia. Kyleen Barker. At age 22, Kyleen is working toward her master's degree and wants to pursue a career in fashion merchandising. Miss Nebraska. Guylin Remenka. Having written and produced television shows for educational television, Guylin hopes to continue in broadcasting. Miss Ohio. Cher Lynette Patrick. Cher's quite skilled in photography in addition to her obvious musical talent. Miss Florida. Carolyn Klein. Carolyn's putting her talents to good use as a musical therapist at a center for the handicapped. Miss Alabama. Teresa Cheatham. While making the Dean's List in college, Teresa still found time to be an a cappella choir soloist and musical director. Miss Texas. Sandy Miller. Sandy entered her first piano competition with a broken arm and still managed to win first place. Miss Louisiana. Phyllis Kelly. Phyllis was chosen to sing the national anthem at Super Bowl XII and hopes to have a career as an entertainer. Well, there they are, ladies and gentlemen. And one of them is Miss America 1979. Thank you, Doc. As the excitement builds, this is a good time to introduce you to an exciting new idea in roll-on antiperspirants. Do you know that all leading roll-ons are mostly water? About two-thirds water. That's why they're wet and sticky and may make you wait to get dressed. But now there's Dry ID Antiperspirant, the new roll-on that isn't wet or sticky because it contains almost no water. It goes on dry, so you can get dressed right away, and nothing will keep you drier than Dry Idea. New Dry Idea. It doesn't make you wet, so it doesn't make you wait. Curls are back, oh. and Tony's got them, and you can get them any way you want them. Tony's Silk Wave is here with a wave for any look you want. Boop de boop curls. Really loose curls. Or all body in one big curve. Tony Silkwave is here with total conditioning, right down to the ends. Be soft, swing, and swirl. Curls are back, and Tony's got them. Silkwave means silk curls. Oh. Okay, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've only to cross the stage to get the judge's decision. So what are we waiting for? The fourth runner-up, recipient of a $5,000 scholarship, is Lori Nelson, Miss Washington. <laughs> the third runner-up, recipient of a $7,000 scholarship, is Chair Patrick, Miss Ohio! The second runner-up, recipient of a $10,000 scholarship is Carolyn Klein, Miss Florida! The first runner-up and recipient of a $15,000 scholarship is Teresa Cheetah, Miss Alabama! Now, let's look. One of these six 
lovely ladies is Miss America. She is the winner of a $20,000 scholarship. Our new Miss America 1979, Kylie Barker, Miss Virginia. See you, darling, so go out there while we sing your song, Our Miss America. Let's hear it for her right now. Say thank you for celebrating our silver anniversary. Thank you, Lee. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Phyllis. Thank you, Bert. You're wonderful. Thank oh, you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. The Miss America pageant was brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's in the morning is a very smart start for the day. And by Campbell's, the 50 suit suit. Discover some that are new to you. And by Gillette, makers of new dry idea roll-on antiperspirant. The roll-on that doesn't make you wet, so it doesn't make you wait. This is Wayne Howell speaking.